Hello everyone. Let's talk about cookies real quick. So in your lesson, you are creating a cookie that stores the session and there's a lot of confusion as to what's happening there. So briefly, when you create the session, that's a back end, has this ID that's stored and in here, I'll drop this particular uh, link that has some explanations, sessions and cookies, but you want to destroy the session so that the session can no longer be used. Now, that said, if you just destroy the session, all it does is make that session unusable. It does not remove the cookie as well. So parts of the cookie or the entirety of the cookie will stay even though you've destroyed the session. So you won't be able to use it to log in again but you do have that kind of shell. And so you can actually remove the cookie as well. And so here, let's save this, built a simple uh, express backend, has three routes, the uh, slash route right here, which is just to let us know where we're at. And then we have this get set route. And what this does is creates a cookie called cookie example and says, this is fun. And then it provides us a JSON response as well as a console log response. So let's hit that one first and see what happens. So I've opened this page with the application tab and then down a cookie. So notice there are no cookies here right now. And we're going to go to slash uh, set. And notice it created the cookie. Let's open this a little more. So it created cookie example and this is persistent. So if I refresh, right, it's still there. And if I go back to just the main route, the cookie is still there. If I go to some broken route, it dies, but the cookie is still there. So that's the benefit of the cookie. Now, in your assignment, you have a session inside of the cookie You've already destroyed the session, session.destroy, but now you want to remove the cookie as well. And you can do that by using this clear cookie uh, code right here. So notice we have the slash destroy route, and it's going to clear the cookie. And then we will we'll get the JSON and console log return. Right, so let's that so here we go and it has now removed it completely so you can use both steps if you want to clean house if they're going to keep coming back you're going to be setting the cookie over and over again you can update the cookie if you want to clean house you can delete the cookie but this is what's happening destroying the session does not destroy the cookie okay. and so that way if you want to get rid of it here is the simple code. I'll share this link and this video. Hope it helps, guys. Thanks. Bye.